Long ago, on the outskirts of the capital, there was a village called Orange. A young girl with the power to become friends with puppets lived there. 
Her name was Cornet. Her dream was to fall in love with a prince. One day, Marl's prince saved Cornet's life in the Wonderwoods. She fell in love. But before he could reciprocate, the prince was turned to stone by the evil witch Marjorie. To save the prince, Cornet set off on a journey with Kududu and her other puppets. It's been several days since Prince Ferdinand was kidnapped by that evil witch, Marjali. I'm sure I set off on an adventure to rescue him. I still don't have any leads. Before I left, I met with Queen Sigrid, the prince's mother. Though she tried to hide it, she seemed overcome with grief. not surprising, really. Anyone would feel the same if their child was kidnapped, right? At least, I think they would. I don't really have any first-hand experience with parent-child relationships, growing up without a mother and all. Mothers. I wonder what kind of person my mother was. is Kududu. She's a puppet that's been by my side for as long as I can remember. She's also my best friend. Uh, where are we exactly? We've been in the woods for days. We're not, you know, lost or something, right?
will be all right. Niven. You know, maybe you could stand to worry a little bit. Geez, you are such a downer, Cornet. So we're lost. Big deal. It's not some huge problem. Don't I always tell you to take the initiative? As long as we keep moving forward, then eventually we'll reach our goal for sure. richest person alive, the president of the Rosen Queen Company. We were friends when we were little. As I'm sure you have no doubt noticed, nowadays we always get into fights. However, for some reason, we've been working together an awful lot lately. All right, all right. Can we leave the customary niceties at that? Anyway, Etoile, what are you doing in a place like this? 
Are you like... <laughs> do you really think I, Etoile Rosen Queen, would do such an idiotic thing as lose my way? What a foolish notion. I'd prefer you call it a grand journey of adventure, if you'd be so kind. So... you're lost? Of course not! I've been busy searching for this child's home. What child? Huh? Oh, goodness. This is exactly why I detest small children. Come now, stop hiding over there. Come on out. What's the deal with her? I don't even know where to begin. My nerves are completely shot. It's been an absolute nightmare ever since I found her lost in the woods, you know? She walks so slowly, cries at the slightest thing, wets her pants. Hey, I never wet my pants. Oh, hush. All right, I exaggerated a bit. What does it matter? Anyway, on my way to take her home, I just so happened to bump into you two. Mommy and Hammer were with me, but we ended up getting separated. It's been one disaster after another. Huh? You're taking her home? You, Miss Child Hater? Yes, that's why I'm so troubled. But when one door shuts, a plain girl will open another for you. You've appeared at the perfect time, so I'll pass the baton on to you. Hey, wait a second there. Did you seriously just seize the opportunity to call me plain? Now that I'll be on my way, so pardon the intrusion. Bye! <laughs> right. What do we do now? Well, obviously, we don't really have a choice, do we? Hey there, what's your name? Ellie? Are you okay? That girl who just left, she was kind of scary, wasn't she? Yeah, a little bit. But she battled this huge monster that was trying to eat me. She did? Well, Etoile's kind of like a monster herself, but... Can you tell me where you live, Ellie? It'd be nice if there were some sort of obvious landmark. Um, my house is, um... It's in a village with a huge mushroom. A huge mushroom? Well then, why don't you stick with us and we'll head to that village, okay? Really? Thank you!
Thank you.